Hello guys and welcome back to one of my favourite, favourite videos to film. I know so many of you guys love these videos when I make them, so I thought it was about time I got down to it and did a full on ASOS try on haul. So I got a little bit spendy on ASOS, got a few new pieces that I found that I thought were really gorgeous and really great for sort of summer holidays, kind of late spring summer holidays. Are we even in summer yet? Probably technically yes. So I went a little bit spendy and I found a few things that I thought you guys might like too. So as always, I'm gonna unbox, go through everything and then I'm gonna try on as we go. So let's get started. The first thing is unboxed, only because I bought this the day before my big parcel arrived because I was going to wear it for a night out and then I didn't realize just how kind of summery it was. It just was not right at all for a night out. So this is the first piece I got. This is a peach play suit from Villa at ASOS. It's that sort of very jersey fabric with a lace of crochet overlay layer. So it looks almost like you're wearing a co-ord top with some little shorts, which is really quite cute. And at the back, it's pulled together by this strap that attaches to the two straps on either side. So it sort of keeps these on your shoulders, which is quite nice. But yeah, I thought the color was beautiful. And definitely for summer holidays, this is one of those things you could throw on every single day and just feel super comfy in it. So let's try it on. Okay, first up, this needs a bit of a iron, definitely. But I think for on holidays, this would be so easy to wear, really comfortable. Yeah, I really like the colour. By the way, if you see me looking here, it's if I've got a mirror literally right behind the camera, just so I can actually see what I look like, so I can assess and chat to you about it. Yeah, so it's really comfy, just because it's that jersey material. It looks really sweet on the collar. Just some like little like brown tan sandals for the summer would be adorable, I think. Yeah, I'm a fan of this, I think it's really sweet and really easy. Next up is the box. <laughs> so let's get into this and see what I picked up. Okay, I'm just gonna start from the top and go through each piece. So first up, some white little shorts. Thought these were super cute. I like the turn ups. I like that they looked as though they wouldn't really show too much of your bum, but we'll see when I try these on. These literally look like they're made for babies. <laughs> so tiny. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit in these. What size did I buy? Extra small. They literally look like a size four. I'll try them though. But it's a really lovely fabric. They're not too thin, but also not too heavy denim. But they look like little denim shorts. And they're from a brand called Jacqueline De Jong. Cute. And just so we've got more of an outfit for me to show you, I'm gonna try those on with something else. Oh, this is cute, I like this. This is from Super Trash. Oh, static. This is from Super Trash. And it's a gray jersey. It's a little bit more knitwear than I even imagined it would be. It's definitely knitted. It's sort of like a knitted jersey, gray, slouchy top. This kind of thing that I wear so regularly and just go out in, if I'm going like for brunch, or if I'm going to the shops, or if I'm just hanging around the house. Like, I just love these kind of tops. They're just so easy to wear. They're comfortable. They kind of look really kind of chilled out vibe. I just like the look of what it looks like. You've made no effort at all, but look really put together. And that's what I thought this would be. So I'm gonna try that on with the white shorts. Totally love this grey top. This is my kind of grey top. It's just so comfy, so easy to throw on with anything and looks quite cool. I mean, I've got a white bra on with it now, which isn't too bad. I think a black bra, probably we'll see a little bit more. So a nude bra is probably the one to go for with this, I'd say. Or maybe just black, it's up to you. The white shorts fit me, somehow, but they literally feel like hot pants. <laughs> but look how tight they are. And yes, I am wearing a black, uh, black underwear. Sorry about that. But I just wanted to kind of do the test and see how thick they were. And yes, you can see black underwear underneath them. And also, I hate the fact that these are faux pockets. There are no pockets here, and I really wanted them to be pockets. <laughs> but yeah, they literally feel like hot pants on me, and they're not that flattering, so I'm not sure. But I mean, I don't know. I think maybe if I went a size up, it might be a bit nicer, but they don't fit here. I don't know. Anyway, I really, really, really like this grey top. Um, yeah, I think this will be a super easy one to kind of put on with some jeans, heels. Looks quite sort of slubby and slouchy. Like. Next up, I bought a hat. Now, I'm not really a hat person, and I want to get more into hats, and I do like wearing hats, 
when I'm on holiday because I definitely need to protect my white hair or else it just goes yellow green. So I thought I'd pick up a new hat and this was really quite sweet. And I like the fact that it was more kind of angular than the Chilby style. I like the fact that it's kind of straight on top, quite sweet. I mean, the thing is that it's been like bent in the box. It's like bending back. So I'll try that on with the last outfit and see how we get on. And this is the hat. I actually like it. I don't usually like hats. And it fits. I, it was either between small or medium, and I went for small, although usually I'd go for a medium, so I was kind of dicing with it there. But it fits, and it's kind of the right fit, but it's almost a little bit tight, so that it's not going to come off if it's breezy, which is quite good. And I really like it. I like the style. I think it's super cute, actually. Do I look? I don't know. It doesn't look like a sombrero, does it? I, don't, I can't work it out. No, I do. I think I really like this. Okay, let me know if you think this hat suits me or not, because I'm not sure, but I think I like it. Next up is a swimming costume I saw. I thought this was really beautiful, actually, and really quite unique. And this is, it's like a necklace. It goes into two sections, so it's cut into a, a large V at the front, and then a completely open back. But how gorgeous is this? Seriously, I mean, how did you even get this on? Okay, so that kind of opens up. So you can get that on but i thought that was really gorgeous and really quite sophisticated and sexy i just went for a usual uk size six in this i also picked up a co-ord set unfortunately the top wasn't available in my size but i still really like this so i thought i would order it anyway just to see what it looked like and then if i really liked it i'd just buy it in a small size so but the shorts are in my size so they're a peachy coloured short with this almost like a scalloped stitching all around the edges of the pockets and around the hem and elasticated waistline so they just look really comfortable very easy breezy for on holiday and how cute is that colour so I also bought that with the matching top so the matching top I had to get in a size 10 but like I said if I really really like it I'll just buy it a little bit smaller but this is almost a cropped bardo style top with cute little straps and it ties just at the top for a little added detail and it just has some embroidery in black going down the front to match the scalloped edging on it but i thought this would be really quite sweet so let's give that a try okay so with this one i've had to really pull up the shorts so that this isn't too short <laughs> to make more of a kind of co-ord style. Yeah, I mean, I know I bought this in the wrong size, and maybe a few sizes down would be better. I mean, it's lovely and it's super cute. I've also had to put on some new knickers with this because the black just showed through ridiculously. And it's very pretty, I just don't know if it's a bit too neon peach for me, I'm not too sure. But still very cute, and I think so many people would look so gorgeous in this. Love a little set. I'm not sure about it on me. What do you think? I'm just not sure about this neon coral on me, but really pretty features. Okay, now everything else in here is a top, apart from this. A new pair of high-waisted shorts. I just thought this colour was quite sweet and very, very blue. But looking at these now, they look quite long. I'm not sure if I wanted them this long. I mean, could I turn them up more, potentially? Yeah, I could maybe turn these up so they're a bit more. But I really like that colour. That colour is super cute. Okay, so for tops. This is very sort of Norwegian meets... Austrian vibes, very traditional obviously Austrian style vibes, very pretty floral embroidery down the front, cut out almost like crochet knit cutouts, cute little bow to the front, it's got an open back again with this embroidered crochet style cutout work and then the kind of fringing to the bottom, I mean how sweet is this? This is from a brand called Some Days Loving, Some Days Loving, I thought I'd give it a try. So I'll try that on with the shorts. This is mega cute, like really, really cute. I just don't know if it's a bit twee for me. Like it's really sweet and I probably wear it quite often. Although you can see my bra through the back, which isn't great. <sighs> because I think that if you didn't wear a bra with it, you probably would be able to see nipples, <laughs> let's be honest. But So again, it is that kind of very see-through white fabric, but I mean, it is hard to do anything else unless you wear nude bra I'm just hope for the best with the back i'll just wear a bikini top potentially but these are the shorts though which are actually mega cute i think they fit really nicely actually i've just turned them up once more just to add a little bit more shape around the legs 
but the actual sizing in the high waisted really fits me nicely. Yeah, so these are really sweet. I love the colour. I think it will go with some different outfits. So yeah, I'm quite taken with these. I'm not sure on the top. I mean, it is super cute, but I just don't know if it's me personally. I don't remember buying this. This does look like something I would buy though. So let's see. I don't remember asking for this. Did I? What even is this? I don't know what this is. Okay, well, this top isn't even on my receipt. So this has snuck its way in. <laughs> it's really quite cute. It's a white shirt with cut out sleeves. How funny. Eep. Send that back. Now this is very Coachella vibes. Although obviously too late for Coachella. But look how cute this is. Little camisole. These are very kind of like, oh, they're elastic, it's elastic. Okay, that's cute. Okay, so it's a little camisole, very cute fringing on it. Lovely embroidery, v-neck. I mean, how sweet will that look with a little pair of shorts for summer on holidays? Very boho, but a bit kind of rock and roll boho. It's black. I like that a lot. Let's try that on. I love the shape of this. The tassels and the embroidery are very, very sweet. I think it's really pretty. I just don't know why it's got this extra fabric here. I feel like I've got like wings almost. But then it's kind of part of the style. Yeah, so it's really nice and you kind of you could kind of hide those under your armpits, I guess. And it is really, really pretty. I just wish it didn't have so much fabric. I do love the tassel so, and it's a really lovely size and crop in order to sort of fit right over the top of your shorts, which is really cute. Yeah, what do you think? I'm not sure. Then I found this top from River Island, which is like another bardo top. Again, I'm very much into floral embroidery, it would seem. Everything is floral embroidered. Never mind. <laughs> the sleeves on this are beautifully embroidered with this lace trim. They see embroidery all over each sleeve, embroidery down the center. I've also seemed to have bought everything that has these ties on them. I've not meant to do this, I don't know what's happened. But again, I thought that with a cute little pair of black shorts or white shorts would look adorable. So in fact, I'll try these on with the white shorts and see how that looks. Okay, this, absolutely love this. This is very me, it's very sweet. I like the fact it's black as well. I've not seen many Bardo tops in more of a black shade. So it's quite nice that it's kind of every day, but you could glam it up at night, maybe some really gorgeous jeans and some heels. But this is very, very pretty and it's very comfortable. I think I'd probably find myself wearing this a lot. Yeah, I like that a lot. Lastly, I found this dress from River Island, thought this was super cute. Again, it's embroidery, but it's more Aztec, print this in style. It's not um, floral, at least, which is great. This is only £25 as well, which is really great. So it goes down to this fringing at the bottom, and again, it's kind of like double layer, so this fits almost like a little crop over the top of a longer skirt. But it'd be really beautiful white, gorgeous neon uh, lime and teal and lilac and peaches going through. I thought that was adorable and again super easy to wear on holiday. It's kind of thing that would look beautiful in like Santorini or Greece because it's so white and so pretty. So let's get that a try on too. So here is a River Island dress. I'll be honest it's quite see-through. I've actually had to put on some nude knickers to go with this. Otherwise it was really really black you could totally see everything um in fact you can kind of see in between my legs even it's kind of like very see-through which is a shame really because it is really lovely so it is kind of like you can kind of i'm surprised if you can't see my nether regions right now but it is a shame i mean maybe if i wore it over some white shorts it'd be okay but otherwise if not perfect to wear over bikinis if you want to wear maybe a bikini with it that would work quite well i think but it is lovely, like the colours are beautiful, the tassels, it's got a lot of lovely movement to it. It's a shame it's just a little bit see-through, so I'm not sure. <laughs> and that is everything guys. Which was your favourite piece? Let me know down in the comments. And if you liked anything here, as always, of course, they'll all be linked in the description box below. So you can go and find them, have a look at prices, sizes, see what you think, see what you like the most at the moment. If you've seen anything on ASOS that is amazing and you think I'd love it, please let me know as well down below. I'd love to know. Hopefully I'll get another ASOS haul out to you very soon. I feel like I love doing my ASOS hauls and I'd hate for them to kind of be something that I don't manage to do that often because I know you guys love them. So I'm really going to try, try, try 
monthly at least to try and get you an ASOS haul. So I really hope you enjoyed that guys, let me know in the comments. Please give the video a like if you did, it makes me so happy when I see some and if you're liking them. So it does really help me know, like, they do like that, I'll do that again. So let me know, and if you're new here, then please do hit the subscribe button. I make two videos a week, Wednesday and Sunday, and it would be great to have you. So thank you so much for watching guys, I will see you on my next one, and take care until then. Bye! Mwah.